Spray sugar with a towel. Spray. <laughs> I guess put the rest in here. You feel good about that? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Hey guys, it's Katie, and today is gonna be really, really fun. I have Jasmine coming down to the studio, and she thinks she's gonna be making like a, just a super fun dessert recipe. What she doesn't know is that I've taken the recipe, I've put it through Google Translate. I went from English to Chinese to Gaelic to Romanian to Greek and all the way back to English, and we have got a hilariously translated recipe. So I'm excited to see what Jasmine does, and it's gonna be crazy. Jasmine? This is what we're gonna be making today. Okay, strawberry um, king king. Let me know if you have any questions. I've never heard this before. Well, that's because, Jasmine, this recipe's actually been put through uh, Google Translate a bunch of times. <laughs> can you tell me what it is? I can tell, I'll tell you it's a dessert. Okay, so it's sweet, strawberry king king. Okay, let's do this, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. Step one, the oven temperature is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's telling me that it is, but it's not yet. So I guess I will go preheat the oven. Okay, bake, preheated. The oven's preheating, let's go to the next step. Grease and form a round pie, nine inches, and a rectangular pie, 10 by 15 inches of skin. <laughs> what does that mean? I have to try and figure it out? Yeah. Grease and form a round pie of skin. Of skin? Oh, parchment paper? Maybe? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm impressed. Scissors. This is my least favorite part about making strawberry king king. I learned this from Kelly, our culinary producer. So I'm just gonna line this up with the center and I'm gonna... Okay, it's not perfect, but I think it'll work. I'll just grease more. More grease. More better. <laughs> I'm gonna grease this too. So in sack, six eggs. A sack, I assume, would be a bowl. I hope that's correct. Six eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One cup of sugar and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay, doesn't even say to mix it. Just leave it until it's colorless and tender. <laughs> but I assume I have to mix it, so I will whisk it. Until colorless and tender. Oh, colorless and tender is light and fluffy. I understand now. Well, now I'm using the electric mixer and I'm gonna whisk it until it's light and fluffy. This should take like three minutes-ish. This is like my least favorite part about baking using this because it's just so heavy. I, I didn't sign up to exercise. Okay, I think that's good. Let's move on to the next step. Separate one cup of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. I think separate means sift based on other baking recipes that I've done. So let's go with that. Flour. Okay, nice, beautiful. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of salt. Pour, skip the step of mixing it, so I assume we still have to mix it. All right, I'll do that first. Next step, pour the dough into one and a half cup of round cake. Is that saying pour a cup and a half of the batter into the round cake pan? And the next step is place all the dough in the other baking pan. So it must mean that one. Okay, I'll do a cup and a half in the round pan and the rest in the baking sheet. I'm going with my heart, yeah making sure it's even. It doesn't say that, but I assume I assume that this is needed. I'm gonna put that to the side, and then I'm gonna, I guess, put the rest in here. You feel good about that? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Yes, I, I don't know how I feel about it anymore. It's a pretty batter. Thank you. The next step is bake for 10 to 12 minutes until the teeth are clean. I think we're gonna bake it, and then we'll test it with a fork, and if it comes clean off the fork teeth, it's ready? I'm not getting any I'm not telling confirmation. You, but I feel like you're, you should go with your heart. Your, your heart seems strong. Okay. Are you able to kind of piece together what you're making right now? Well, right now it kind of seems like we're gonna like bake it and I'll roll it or something. Because what it's makes so you think thin. That? It's so thin. And so if I'm making a, like some sort of log cake, I could roll it. But like this really confuses me. Bake for 10 to 12 minutes until the teeth are clean. Let's go. I'm just gonna put on the lower rack. I always do that. Okay, I guess I'll go on both. I'll do 10 minutes now and I'll just check on it later. 
I will just wait here until the teeth are clean. All right, let's open this up. It's the 10 minute mark right now. Teeth are clean. Let's go back to the kitchen. Okay, we have our cakes, they look fine. I'm not even sure if this is what it's supposed to look like. So the next step is to spray sugar with a towel. I'm thinking about synonyms for spray. Dust with sugar. Spray sugar with a towel. Spray. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna put sugar on the towel. I don't know if that's right. But you know what? Life is about learning from your failures. So we're gonna do that. Let's use the whole towel. I'm so confused. This feels very wrong. This feels like I'm purposely making a mess. My mom's gonna come in and yell at me. I'm assuming this will just help it not stick. Then again, I don't know what I'm doing. I was spreading it, but then Katie furrowed her eyebrows. So I changed my mind. The air is sweet now. Have you done anything like this before? No. Okay, so next is turn the dough into a curved crust on a towel and lift the towel to wrap the cake into a stick. So it must be this one if it's if it's rolling it into a log. Okay, I'm gonna remove the skin. Turn the dough into a curved crust on a towel. I guess we're just gonna roll it. I have no idea what I'm making. <laughs> I've never seen this technique, but I, I think I have a beautifully curved crust now. So let's move on to the next step, which is freeze the cake for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put this here and uh, freeze it for 15 minutes. We have our cake out of the freezer. The next step is remove the log and spread a three quarter glass jar in a bowl on top of the cake. You know what this feels like? This feels like when you're on your phone and you, you do autofill and it's just words and then none of it makes sense. That's how it feels. There's one glass jar, so it must be this. In a bowl on top of the cake. I have a bowl and I'm gonna put three quarter cups of strawberry preserves. You know, maybe there are some words that you don't need, you know? Like, maybe there are words in there that are just words. So maybe I don't need this bowl. <laughs> the next step says to roll the cake, so that means I can presume that I'm unrolling it now. Oh, okay. So three quarter cups on top of this, and then roll it back up. I haven't had to use my brain this much the entire panorama. <laughs> Pandemic. Spread on top of cake. Roll the cake, cover it with a plastic bag, and let it freeze 10 minutes. Cover it with plastic wrap. Freeze for 10 minutes, 10 hours. Just <laughs> Now I need my plastic bag. Wrap it completely, I assume. I think that's good. Okay, freeze 10 minutes, BRB again. That was more straightforward than the earlier instructions, so I'm happy. I have my cake out from the freezer, and the next step is to assemble a plastic cover for a bowl. So in my head, I'm just thinking I need to prepare some saran wrap to put on the bowl. So that's what I'll do. I feel like I'm doing something pretty useless right now. It's probably wrong. Now, cut the jelly ankle into inch inch slices in a bowl to cover bottom. <laughs> cut jelly ankle, cut jelly ankle, jelly ankle. This looks kind of like a leg, though not an ankle. Okay, so maybe it's this. Let me, fin okay, inch inch slices in a bowl. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So the, uh, the plastic cover for the bowl, I think actually we're gonna push it in and line the bowl. I'm gonna go with the double layer just to be safe. So I think I'm gonna need to take this cake and slice it into inch thick slices and then line the bowl. That's what I think. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made anything like this, so the process is very new for me. Put in the center. Oh, that's cute. Okay, next step, do the filling. Add one tablespoon of gelatin with a quarter cup of cold water. Bake for five minutes. We wouldn't bake the, my, my, heat, heat, dissolve. Dissolve the gelatin in water. I think it'll just, I'm gonna let it bloom for five minutes. I'm calling the shots. Gelatin. I need a quarter cup of water. Tablespoon of gelatin. I'm gonna read the next step. Mix 16 ounces of cottage cheese, one cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon vanilla extract fell into crater. Whisk until fluffy and fluffy. Let me just absorb that for a second. <laughs> 16 ounces of cottage cheese. I feel like this is a dessert that should have 
cream cheese, not cottage cheese. There's cream cheese on the table. <laughs> bowl. I'm grabbing the bowl because the directions said fell into crater, and this is the only thing that resembles a crater. So I think that it would be to put everything in a bowl. So I'll need two of these. Now, uh, one cup of powdered sugar, and then one tablespoon vanilla extract. Whisk until fluffy and fluffy. I'm assuming light and fluffy. Awesome. Okay, next step. Gently mix two heavy cans and whisk until tops are noticeable. Heavy cans. Heavy whipping cream. Cans, evaporated milk, condensed milk. Okay, I think I'm gonna gently mix two cups of heavy whipping cream and whisk until they're and tops are noticeable. Whisk until peaks form? I'm gonna go with that, two cups. Should I mix it while I pour it? Ah, uh, nah. <laughs> Can't be bothered. <laughs> Can't follow all the rules while you cook. It's no fun that way. This is a lot of filling. You know what, I think that's good. I don't even really know if I needed peaks for frosting. Add gelatin and stir to mix. Let's get our gelatin. I think maybe bake was heat. And so maybe it was microwave for five minutes. That's really long. I feel like it would explode and make a mess. It's okay, they're laughing at me, so definitely not. I think I'm just gonna heat it until it dissolves again and becomes liquid, and then I'll mix it in there. Okay, BRB. So I have my gelatin. It's in liquid form now, so I'm just gonna dump that in. This kind of feels like I'm making a no-bake cheesecake. All right, next one. Follow the strawberry in. I would say that means follow with strawberry in here or in there. If the recipe is not referencing this, I, I assume that it would mean this one. Here are some strawberries. Dice, slice, no direction. You know what? I'm just gonna dice it and throw it in there. I don't know how much, how many strawberries to put in, but I'm gonna do it until it's filled with strawberries because I feel like Desserts don't give enough strawberries in the desserts. Fill the top of the cake with the cheesecake filling, then place the round loaf on top. So now I just learned what that round loaf is for. Okay, so that's the bottom of the cake. I think it means to throw the sliced strawberries in the filling. Though I don't wanna do that. Can I reject that? You can do whatever you would like. Hell yeah. Okay. I brought this back. I am going to put a layer of the cheesecake filling. Found out it's cheesecake filling. So I'm gonna do like one layer of cheesecake filling and then I'm gonna line it with strawberries and then do another layer of frosting and then another layer of strawberries. I think that'll be good. I think right now I got a whiff of cake filling and strawberries together. So it tells me what it could possibly taste like. I think I'm improving the recipe. This is now strawberry king king. That's good. Let's go in with the second layer of cheesecake filling. All right, okay, more strawberries. We're getting there, we're getting there. I'm gonna go in with the rest of the cheesecake filling. I almost feel like you were too good at this, Jasmine. I, maybe I should have made these harder. Did I do it right? I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. telling you yet. <laughs> but you've been doing a nice job. Is that why you're so quiet? Yes, that's why. I don't want to give you any more help. <laughs> I feel like when I put the round cake on top, the open spaces like right here are not gonna look very nice and Katie has high standards. So I am going to cut a few more slices. I think here is good. I think it looks great. I think I did great. <laughs> I'm excited about eating it. Woo, this cake is beautiful. I'm gonna do it this side. So now we keep it in the refrigerator for an hour. I'm packing it in right now. They're laughing again. <laughs> I never know what that means. Let's just put this in the fridge for an hour. We'll get to the next step when we get to it. <laughs> so the dessert is in the fridge and we have a few more steps. Cook in a small saucepan and add three slash cup sugar to two slash cup water. Yeah, I'll do a third cup of sugar to half a cup of water. I think we're making caramel, I think. The next step, beat together the corn and two tablespoons of cold water and then beat in boiling sugar syrup. Corn, oh, corn starch? How much? How much? How much? It doesn't say. Well, if I put too much, it'll be too thick. And if I don't put enough, it can be too runny. I'll put two tablespoons. Um, you know what? Let's start with less. Half tablespoon to a teaspoon and a half. 
So 1.5, I needed two, oh, times four. 1.5 times four to 60, six. Six teaspoons is two tablespoons. Are you panicking right now? <laughs> Can you hear it in my voice? I feel like you're nervous again. <laughs> I'm all, it's very nerve wracking. This seems like a pretty good color actually. I put two full tablespoons. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I did the math completely wrong. I just did a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I can't do the math. I, just, I give up. Let's just do one. Beat together the corn and two tablespoons of cold water. It's a lot of pressure. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Okay, now I prepare the food and remove it from the heat and leave it for a while. That's so casual. <laughs> just chill. For all I know, this is a whole separate dish. The cake is never referenced again in the recipe. So <laughs> Strawberry King King is missing quite a lot. <laughs> okay, I got the cake back, even though the recipe dropped the cake completely. I didn't even do anything with put the glass in a pot. I just have no idea. The last step is to serve. Place a plate on a plate and slide. Carefully remove the bowl and the remaining air thighs. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna unwrap this. Place the plate on the bowl on top of the bowl, place the plate on top of the bowl, and turn, not slide. Okay. Suspense. It is suspenseful. <gasps> okay. Oh, baby. Okay, we got it. And the remaining air thighs, the remaining plastic wrap. Okay, and uh, just like it never referenced the cake again, it, it also doesn't reference the, the syrup again. So then I will, I, I don't know anymore, so I'm just gonna pour this on top. I'm sorry if it's wrong. I'm sorry if I messed up your favorite dessert. That's not cute. Okay, this is good. Now it's glazed, it's so shiny. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like this, but I did the best that I can, and right now that's all I can say. Are you done? Uh, I think I need to serve it. Plate, plate, and slide. Strawberry King King! <laughs> there you go. Ah, okay, can I look? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Do you wanna know what it, this actual dessert is called? Yes, what is Strawberry King King? <laughs> strawberry King King is Strawberry Charlotte Royale. I think Strawberry King King actually sounds better. This is a lot better. <laughs> Look at these holes, look at the difference. Well, this is really beautiful. Um, I did my best, and from what I can see, it's not incredibly far off, so I, I think I did a pretty good job. I think you did so good. Thanks, Katie. I can't believe how well you did. <laughs> I was actually like, it's not hard enough. For mine, I think all the elements are there. It's the right shape. Although, obviously, we got some exposed filling. The original one is a lot more precise in technique. It just looks a little more refined than mine. They look similar, but let's see how they taste. You ready for this? <laughs> I'm scared. I think it looks pretty good. Wow. Actually, it looks the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try mine first, and then I'll try the original afterwards. Cheers. Mmm. It's good. Tastes like a strawberry shortcake, which I love. So now I'll try the original one. Mmm. This tastes like it's from a store. Strawberry King King, give it a try, and let us know in the comments below if you want us to do this again. Bye. Oh, yes.